All right, Shalom. So before I get going, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Wa'akwadash Rakah. Double honors to the elders over at the Great Millstone who rule well, Shalom. Also double honors. And um, Shalom to all the elders of the Israelite nation who rule well and are teaching the true doctrine of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Shalom, Wa'abarakim, peace and blessings, that is, to the hopeful elect men out teaching His truth in the four corners of the earth where we have been scattered. And also Shalom to the rest of the one-third men, women, and children of the Israelite nation who has forsaken his world and have come back into their true heritage, you know, their true heritage being the true way or the true doctrine of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Before I get going into the lesson, this message specifically to you so-called black people, all right, that being you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American Indian people, all right, you are all, in fact, the true Israelites of the Bible. You know, the, bio, the book that is called the Bible is your true history. It's your true heritage, and ultimately it's a book of instruction for you Israelites to obtain the true benefits of you being who you always have been, which are Israelites. So I bid you to come back into your um, true heritage, learn the ways, and um, follow therein. All right, so we can get into this lesson. You know, and this lesson is just, um, you know, it's set up or thought out to be like, you know, just a reminder, you know, um, just to keep the understanding of where this, what this place is that you're in. You know, because... You know, although, yes, you are, you know, in the truth, you know, you forsake this world, you know, you're still subject to, um, you know, you, you get highs, man, you have highs. You know, you might have made a come up, you know, you got a little bit extra money in your bank account, you know, you've been applying the wisdom, you know, you've been um, saving more, spending less. So you get a little bit more money in your bank account. You might have um, been able to obtain a nice job, you know, you able to go get you know, nice things, you know, you might just got a new car, um, you might have been able to purchase a house, be put in a position to do stuff like that, you know, whatever it may be, man, it's it's a lot of ways to, um, you know, find yourself in a high-minded place, and it's, and it's um, you know, in this place that we in, and we have to be constantly reminded, you know, even when we're rewarded, you know, um, you know, that this place is, this place is trash, you know, the place that we live in, is is you know it's, it's ran by the wicked you know it's in control by the so-called white man you know who is the devil the devil has control of this world so um you might get lost in a little the vain the vain glory that you may receive here you know and it's it, it happens to the best of us you know and that's the point of doing this lesson you know because you know you're gonna have highs and you're gonna have lows but you must realize who is in control of this place and who is in charge of this place until the Lord comes back, you know, and set things back in order. So, you know, you think about it, that's the reason why, you know, the NBA, NFL, these leagues, these entertainers and stuff, they get paid so much. You know, they, they get to live a lavish life because um, ultimately they're being fed their own poison, which is, you know, being lofty, being high-minded. And we understand that most of these people in those positions are, you know, the the Israelites, the so-called black people. You know, your LeBron James, your Steph Curry's, uh, NFL players, Odell Beckham's. You know, you keep on going. The entertainers, Kanye West, the Jay Z's, they paid all of this money to keep them inside a lofty mindset, so they can never realize that this place is, you know, wretched and miserable, and they're poor, really. Because those riches, or those gains that you might get, you know, they're really amount to nothing. Although you are able to use this world, right? We don't want to abuse it, and that's it. And again, it's okay to have these things. It's okay to come up. It's okay to do that. But you always have to re be reminded and stay in the mindset of what the true reality of things is. And the true reality of things is that we got more work to do, so we can't be satisfied. All right. So, you know, we go start here at this first scripture. This is Revelation chapter three and verse. 17 it says because thou sayest i am rich you know thou sayest you saying in your own mind you're making up your own you know understanding that you're rich and increase with goods just because you made a little come up you know what i'm saying you got more food in the refrigerator than you usually do you got more money in the bank than what you usually do you know and then on a celebrity level you know you're millionaires you know you you're able to go get whatever you want able to get your cars or whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, so it's, it's always manifold, but, you know, I'm speaking to, to, to the brothers, the brothers is, you know, pushing in this truth, you know, it says, because thou sayest I'm rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing. You see, you get to that, that high in your mind when you make it come up, you know, but you always have to be balanced. You always have to realize and come back down to reality. And that's the reality of things is, and know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. You know, and I'm just saying this because I understand the feeling. You know, you come up, you get you get up, but you have to instantly come right back down to understand this is nothing. Job's not done yet. More work to do. Yes, I've been increased, but I have to stay in the mindset of reality. I can't let these things steer me out of the direction of what the reality of things is. And that's where a lot of people, especially in the world, get stuck in. You know, you make a come up and now... You know, you on Instagram posting your new outfit, your new cars, all of these things. And then you get robbed or something, you know, because you, you thinking that you really made it. You think you really something, you know, and that's the mind of these um, niggas in the world, man. They really think they something. They get a little anything and they so quick to jump up and be so high minded and increased, they believe, you know, and it's, it's just all vanity because we have to understand that this is a world of vanity. The world of vanity is a world of emptiness because. Who is in charge? Who is in control? Who is in charge is the so-called white man. It's E, Esau. You know, and he pushes these, these vain thoughts to people and make them believe that all of these vanities, um, you know, really allowing them to be something. We're living in a world where the, the air is poison. We're living in a world where the water is poison. We're living, living in a world where even Esau himself admits that the oceans are going to be empty you know, in upcoming years, soon upcoming years. So we have to stay in the understanding and inside the mindset of reality, which is this place is is sick. It's a very, very sick place. You know, we're living on an earth that is dying, and that's the rea reality of the matter. So it's always good to have that healthy balance for one of reminding yourself that um, this place is sick, you know, and a brother, um, Shariat, he always, you know, this is something he constantly says. You got to have a, a, um, a healthy balance of fear, man. You know, you want to keep that fear on you so you can keep this edge. And your edge is the truth. It's the reality of things, you know, and not being caught up in anything else outside of that. So, yes, you can make your increases. You can have your come ups, but you have to stay inside the reality of things that our job isn't done yet and that we have to continue to stride on in this truth and to our job is accomplished and our job is to take him back this world this world that has been given into the hand of the so-called white man the wicked you know the, the devil himself the deceivers of this world because everything outside of this truth is deception and it's um unhealthy um specifically to you israelites you know and that's who this message is too all right so we go go to our next scripture we go um go to proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2 and it reads when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice you know and then when you look around right now nobody's rejoicing you know people don't want to get that shot people people don't want to take venom it's riots um all types of you know natural disasters if you will as they call them you know people are dying at a a, a crazy rate um, people are getting kicked out their homes. People don't have jobs. We're in hell. And you have to really understand that this earth right now is hell. The so-called white man is in control of it. He's in charge of this world that we're living in. And it's a it's, it's hell. So we have to stay in the reality of that matter. Because when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. You know, people are going to be happy. You know, we, we're not in the kingdom. That's not reality just yet. So we have to stay... We have to stay solid in our um in our understanding, solid in our in our um in our path, stay on the straight gate and not get lost in the wide in a wide way. Because it easily can happen. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. What do you see right now? You know, the people are mourning. People are dying. People 
are um upset. People are forced to take poison they don't want to take just to go make money. These people are mourning, so we understand the wickedness and control. You know, and we always can get this scripture, Job chapter 9, and verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know? So the earth is definitely given into the hand of the wicked. And we know who the wicked is. Who's in control of the earth right now? It's the so called white man. He is the center of control of the world. You know, in every single aspect. So we can prove this point day in and day out just by paying attention to the condition of the people of the world, the condition of, you know, who are who are those those who are subject to this place. All right. So the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know, the true judges who are the Israelites, you so-called black people, your faces have been covered. You don't know who you are. You know, because the earth has been given into the hand of the so-called white man who is the devil. You know, so you have to keep constantly understanding that you're in darkness and that you have to um, you have to strive to be the light that you are. Um, stand in tune with the reality of this place. Understanding that this place is wicked and is wretched. All right, so we go go back. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the big, the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. And that's what we're seeing right now. So we know the wicked who is in char charge right now is the so-called white man. And they need to come out of control. And we can't keep sighing and crying until we get our due position. Which is the, when the righteous are in authority. The kingdom of heaven, which is to come. And we go get this last scripture here. In Proverbs 28 and 12, you know, and close out, it says when the when righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory, you know. So we're looking forward to that. There's going to be a great glory. When the righteous men rejoice, do rejoice. That's when we take the kingdom back. That's when we put all of these other heathen nations under our foot. And we put Esau into slavery, man. Put all these other nations to slavery, too, because they all had they, they hand in it. But our arch nemesis would be Esau, man, the so-called white man. The rich, the rich man is Salak. When the righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. And that's been the issue all this time. The true judges, they have been hidden. They've been hidden by the wicked ones. You so-called blacks, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American Indian people, you so-called Negroes, all of you who, who are considered black people, all right, you are the true white people. You're the light of this world, man. And, you know, you must you must wake up to this reality, you know, and fight for truth, you know, or ultimately, you know, prepare yourselves for slaughter because that's what's coming to this earth. All right. That's what's coming to this earth. The Lord is coming back and he's going to be pissed off and he's coming to deliver those um, men who have been sighing and crying for his name's sake. And I've been putting and preparing themselves for his coming, you know, and are righteously waiting for him. And for those of you who don't get this, you know, you're, you're going to see the sword, man. And it's just that simple. So um, those of you who are striving is truth, man, you know, stay striving and stay strong and stay, um, stay motivated and don't allow the highs to, um, to cloud your thoughts, to cloud your vision, to cloud reality, because we have something special coming our way and we must fight all the way into the end to receive it. So with that said, I'm going to say, Lord willing, this was um, edifying, but I'm going to close out right now. Shalom.